I'm high again. Look at this little beauty. And I'm not talking about the chicken, <laughs> um, but she's going to get right in the way. Um, this is a, a classic, this one is. It's a Honda um, HR17. Um, I have featured it before quite a few years ago. It's been stored at my dad's sort of since then, really. And I got it home the other day. I haven't done nothing to it. I've just got it out of the van. I'm going to put some fuel in it and see if it starts. Just see whether the carb could be dirty or anything. I'm just going to go for it and see. <laughs> How we go, so I just gotta get a fuel onto the just before I actually hem for fueling, I picked up that from a sale at, um that little jerry can from a sale at, um I think it's being Q a few years back. Such a handy little can that is um I usually now just keep it for the fuel, what I use for the mowers and that home, what I repair. So yeah, it's a great little can. I think it was only there. I think it's a fiver. I think it cost me five pound. So yeah, um, I thought I'd mention that. Gonna make sure the fuel taps on, which, yep, it is. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure about the engine, um, the switch settings or anything. So I might take a few pulls just to work that out. But yeah, let's see if it goes. I'll mow me along with it then. I've had a few pulls. What I'm going to do is just get a spark plug and check it's got a spark because I don't know where that switch setting is right. So I'll be back with you in a minute. Um, so I have worked out where it is on. Um, I don't even think there's a choke on this. I'm not sure it's automatic choke or whatever. I think I mentioned that in the video I did ages go on it. But it doesn't seem to be a choke on it. There's no throttle leaves or anything at the top. So I'm just going to pull it and see if it goes. <laughs> So there you go, once I got the switch right, it was um, a start up no problem. So, um, you know, it didn't misfire anything. You just got to admire the engineer, and these are early 80s, and uh, they're, to be honest, made better than the ones are today. I suppose the pro engines um, on the Hondas are good, but that, um, the CGV ones, they're a little bit, to be honest, a bit naff. They're a bit, um, uh, a bit, little bit domestic, I'd call them semi-pro engines, but yeah, this one just runs lovely, and they really did know how to make an engine and um basically the pro one on the like my hrh and that is still the basically a similar design they were fitting on the mowers just after this the sort of um latter 80s mowers like the 216 hr 216 and um, them sort of models so the engines haven't changed all since then this is a this is an isn't an overhead valve it's just um i think a side valve um yeah and it's um a nice nick you know the condition is good um that's probably why they did sort of have to at some stage downgrade a little bit because the mowers were lasting too long um, and people weren't buying new ones but yeah so this is uh, about uh i just think the 35 to 40 year old mower this one and yeah i'm gonna cut my grass with it right now um 
I should give it a little clean up and um, yeah and this will be this will be kept and looked after for two reasons it will be a bit of um, sort of nostalgia I like the old classic mowers I've got a few and um, you know it can come out and cut my own lawn and you know I like Honda Honda is the number one mower for me um, lots will disagree with other makes and that um, but I still think Honda is, is, the, is the best engine um, you know Kawasaki I would say not too far behind some people think the opposite but um, uh, my right standard mower has got a Kawasaki on and it's okay but I'd prefer to have a Honda on it but you know it comes with what it comes with um, but you yeah, know Ka Kawasaki is a good unit Briggs and Stratton I think personally have gone a little bit downhill um, in recent years but um, yeah for me if I can buy something with a Honda engine on um, yeah I'll um, buy it well in the four stroke range um, I'm a steel fan in the two stroke range um, and um, yeah and if I buy anything diesel I try to get Kubota all my diesel engines in my mowers are Kubota but um, you know John Deere used the Yanma engine which I would actually um, I, is a good good solid unit so yeah well anyway back onto this mower um, I'm gonna get me a grass cut with it now so um, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon. Um, so I'm going to have a little um, mow with the Honda now, as you can see it there. Um, and um, yeah, mind me Crocs, I've got Crocs on today. <laughs> so no Croc jokes. Well, I'll allow you to do it if you want. It's good It's good banter, isn't it, on um, YouTube or whatever. So yeah, uh, but it's not Crocs with socks today. So it's just Crocs. But um, I'm washing down that, so you might see me ducking around that a little bit. But... You know, I can only um, mow uh, what I've got here. So, um, yeah, I'll get that started and we'll have a little mow. There we are. We um, I had a little mo, and you can see it does a pretty pretty good job. I could have probably gone out one more setting actually, but just wanted to try it out. Um, see there, threw out a dog toy right at the end. My dog chewed stuff up and chucks it everywhere, but he has fun doing it, so that's good. Um, yeah, so yeah, this mo. I'm not sure um, how these would have been sold originally. Whether they've been sold as a domestic mo or a pro mo, I don't know. But to be honest, it's actually made better than a lot of promos are to this day so um 
yeah, um, it's a good, solid, strong, strong thing. Um, the deck's good, no damage on the deck or anything. The only one fault it's got, <laughs> I'll show you that quickly now. No. Yep, I just found it. Um, I knew it was in a drawer somewhere. Um, so there, there's a good flap. A little bit of um, surface rust in the inside, which you would ex expect. But um, I might just go over that with some rust treatment and just leave it for the rust treatment on, because it will convert that so it will slow it down. And yeah, that will fit just on there nicely. I think, if I remember rightly, that cost me about £10 about four or five years ago, around the time I did the last video on this thing. So, um, yeah, pleased with that. It runs well still. No repairs or anything to do. Better just check the oil. I hadn't checked the oil, but I did remember last time that there was no issues with that. It doesn't seem to leak. What we will do quickly though, we'll just turn the fuel off. Just have a quick look underneath. Um, so there's a view from underneath. You can see the body is really good. The sun might be in your eyes a little bit, um, but there's no damage to it whatsoever. The blade's pretty sharp, I reckon. I reckon this motor was hidden away for quite a few years. I don't think it was used. And the exhausts on these, I think, like the others, I think they're underneath. I think that's the bottom of like the exhaust. So the flap is all pretty good. Obviously, it's had a little bit of wear and tear over the years, but for a motor this age, it's in um, cracking condition. And there's the exhaust. Yeah, they do come out from underneath. Well, you can see that because it's bright ahead today but just where my finger is that's the end of the exhaust so it sort of fits on the engine but yeah i'll leave it there the video hope you enjoyed this video of this classic honda and yeah i'll be along with another video again soon so thanks for watching